Good morning, fourth graders. I hope you are doing well. Happy Thursday, happy art day. Welcome back to art. Today is our last art class before we go on winter break. So before we get started, I just wanna say I hope you all have a wonderful break. Um, I hope you get to spend time with family. I hope you get to relax, get off the computers for a little bit, and um, I hope it snows so we can go outside and play in that. Um, and yeah, so you're gonna need your storyboard from last week um, where you came up with your um, idea of a story pencil, uh, markers, crayons, colored pencil, whatever you're gonna use to add color to that. And that's it, so let's get started. All right, so last week we talked about um, telling a story or drawing a story without words. So I did some planning and I wrote down kind of what I wanted my storyboard or my um, comic to be about. And I put down sleeping, wake up, make coffee, drive to work, okay, and then I did a rough sketch of what that might look like in my four different blocks. Now, I'm gonna show you another example and I'm just gonna kinda walk you guys through how I would do it. So I might think of, um, I was thinking about this before, brainstorming. Um, I have apple trees in my backyard, so I have a little orchard and in the fall, um, I go out and pick apples and I put them in like a, a big basket a bushel basket and then I bring them in the house and I'll make um, apple pie or apple crisp or something like that so and then sometimes I you know give those pies to people so um, to illustrate that happening that event and those things happening I might plan out let's see <clears throat> since I'm gonna be using four boxes I'm gonna have four pictures that I want to write about right and what's gonna happen in each one. So maybe the first one is going to be me picking apples. Okay, so me picking apples. So that first box is gonna have me, obviously an apple tree and maybe a basket. Um, and somehow showing me picking the, back, picking the apples. The next one, um, or I could even break this up into two. So it could just be me out in the apple orchard. The next one could be me with the basket. Um, so, or putting, I could do this. I could do putting apples in basket, in a basket, okay? Next could be me inside um, kitchen, baking a pie, and then the last one could be me delivering a pie, okay, an apple pie. All right, so to illustrate those, I started off with what? Me picking apples, okay, so I'm going to draw draw two apple trees. Remember, this is just kind of a rough sketch. I can go back and add details, which is what you guys are going to be doing today. Okay, so then, and then there's me. I'm out there looking at the apples, right? Okay, next... Same apple trees, right? But this time, what did I say I'm going to be doing? I 
I said I'm gonna be picking them this time. So maybe over here, I'm gonna draw a basket and my hands are reaching up like I'm picking the apples, okay? And then maybe I could put some maybe down on the ground like I'm gonna be putting them in the basket or I could draw them where they're overflowing out of the basket, okay? Then, The next one is going to be me baking a pie. So, maybe maybe I would put a number on here like 375 or something whatever it would be baking at. Um, and then over here, maybe I'll put the actual pie. So it could either be that I'm getting ready to put it in, or if it just came out of the oven, maybe I have little lines there showing the steam, right? Okay, so there I am in the kitchen. Maybe this is, maybe there's a timer going off so I could put those little lines that kind of show that there'd be sound coming. Right? And then finally, um, Maybe that's the little doorbell and I made the little thing with like a sound is coming up from there again like ding. Um, and I could have my car over here maybe. to show you like the step-by-step -step process it doesn't have to be a big long story it could be just some little short thing that happened and again it could be made up or it could be true this is just showing me picking some apples and baking a pie and bring it to somebody's house all right um so today what i want you guys to do whether you stick with your design that you had from last week your plan or if you're going to create another one based on what i told you today Maybe you want to do another one. Um, you can pick between the two, which one you like the best after doing two if you want. And then you're going to be going in and adding color and details. Okay? So, um, I'm going to use color pencil and um, crayon. You can use marker also. Um, I'm just going to... show you like once you guys add detail and color to these they'll really come to life and they may even I mean even just by adding color to certain things you can help tell the story better for example my trees right right now they're trees with like little circles on them I don't know what those circles are right well I mean I do but 
other people may not know. So by making those circles that I have on there red, that will probably help people realize that I'm either picking cherries or apples. And the size of them will help too. So the fact that they're bigger will probably help people to realize that they are apples and not cherries. Okay, so. All right, I'm gonna speed this up while I finish. Um, actually, I'm not even going to finish. I'm going to just do a couple more and show you um, how you can add more detail. So to make the grass look more realistic, right, you can add the lines to, for texture. You could color the sky blue, put some clouds, sun. Maybe you want to add some leaves on those apples and on the tree. So you're going to add color for each one, add as many details as you can, but don't forget the point of your story. So you might want, you don't want to put too much in here so that it takes away from the story and it's hard to tell what's going on. So you really want to focus in and say, okay, I see two trees here and a person. Hmm, what could be happening here? Well, we know that there's things on the tree, right? So, and you can make a prediction like, what do you think that they're doing? Oh, maybe they're going to pick the, the apples. Then this one, once I go back and add details, you can see, oh, the person's reaching up into the tree and they have a basket with whatever's up in the tree in the basket. So maybe they're picking apples. What did they do next? Oh, and then I could, to add more details here, I could add more apples on my counter or even draw the basket overflowing right of apples to kind of show what I'm doing right all right so if you guys have any questions you know you can always email me when you are finished and you have done your whole storyboard and you've added all the detail and the color um, please snap a picture and upload it and uh, into Google Classroom. I did have a couple students who walked me through and explained what was happening in their pictures, which I love because sometimes it is hard to tell. Um, 
some students said that they struggled drawing. You can look up pictures of things online. A lot of times when I want to draw, like you can see my drawings are very basic here. They're like little stick figures. But if I wanted to make my tree look more realistic, I would look up a picture of an apple tree because I have to see things to draw them. I do not draw very well from my imagination. Some people have that talent, I do not. So feel free to look at pictures online and draw from looking at those pictures. Um, but yeah, I would love for you guys to take a video and explain to me what is happening in your um, story. All right, I hope you guys all have an awesome um, winter break. I hope you guys get to relax a little bit and spend some time with your family, get outside and play. Hopefully we have some snow. And uh, don't forget to create, paint, draw, have fun, and have a great day.